And finally, it's one of the most remarkable scientific finds perhaps ever. Water has been found in the atmosphere of a planet beyond our solar system. The planet is said to be eight times the mass of Earth and is now the only planet outside the solar system known to have both water and temperatures that could support life. Now, this discovery was done by a group of scientists and published in the journal Nature Astronomy, whose lead author, Dr. Angelo Sierras, joins us now. Uh, Dr. Sierras, thanks very much uh, for being with us. Uh, what are the implications of this? Is this another Earth? That's what I think a lot of people would want to know. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. No, it is not a second Earth, unfortunately, because as you said very correctly, it has a different mass and radius than our Earth. It's much bigger. However, we are looking into the chances of having similar conditions to Earth. At the first place, it has similar temperature. A uh, second one that we find right, we have found right now is that it has an atmosphere with water. So it fulfills three requirements. There are many more requirements for a planet to be classified as having the same conditions as Earth. But right now, none of the more than 4,000 planets that we know outside the solar system satisfies more than one. This one satisfies three. So it is the, our best candidate right now. Dr. Sierras, uh, how far away uh, is this exoplanet? It's uh, 110 light years away meaning that the light from this star takes 110 years to arrive to us. For how, a comparison, how, how did you detect it? How did you detect oh. it? So uh, the planet was observed by the Hubble Space Telescope, and we used this data to analyze the light from the star, which leaves a characteristic uh, footprint when it goes through the atmosphere of the planet. Of course, we cannot go there and examine the planet. So the only thing we have is the light from the star that comes to us. And one final question, and I, I suppose this is what everybody would want to know. If there's water and it fulfills three conditions uh, that you speak about, is there a possibility of life as we know it on that planet? Of course, we cannot exclude it, but it is a completely different planet, so I wouldn't like to speculate. It's one step forward towards answering this question, but there are so many studies that need to be done in order to get there. We are still very far away. What is that next step? What is the first major next step as you, uh, as you look at this extraordinary scientific find? What's the next step? The next step is to look with bigger telescopes, the next generation telescopes, and try to find also other molecules, for example, methane, which is another molecule connected to life. One final question, when you found out, when you went through the data, which you would have analyzed for a long period of time, and where once you knew for sure that, good heavens, this is what we have detected, water on an exoplanet, what was your reaction? What was the reaction of the team? Well, I need to mention that water was found all previously in other exoplanets, but not like this. They were all gas giants, not right. like this. This one was the first more similar to Earth. And of course, we were extremely excited because we were not expected, expecting to find something so strong as a very small planet. However, it was uh, something very new. We were eager to find something like this. And of course, uh, uh, we are very happy and looking forward to the next steps. Dr. Angelo Sierras, congratulations to you and your team members and, and may true science and space, uh, something which we all follow very closely here in India, uh, take us to new heights. Thanks very much, sir, uh, for being Thank with us. Much. Out of time, completely on left, right and center. I'll be back on Monday. Till then.